Meanwhile, President Muhammadu Buhari has dissolved the Special Presidential Investigation Panel for the Recovery of Public Property, as currently constituted with Okoy Obono Obla as chairman. The president, in a statement by his special advisor on media and publicity, Femi Adeshino, directed the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, to immediately take over all outstanding investigations and other activities of the Special Presidential Investigation Panel. He was was suspended by the president on August the 4th, 2019, following an ongoing investigation by the Independent Corrupt Practices Commission. President Buhari thanks all members of the dissolved panel for their services. He says he looks forward to receiving the final Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission's report on the ongoing investigations of the dissolved panel's chairman. Now, earlier in our news, Olado Tung Hassan, a legal practitioner, shared his view on this. So, for those of us who have been following this story, first there was a suspension and investigations into the alleged offences that have been said to be committed by Obono Obla uh, while he was heading that commission. And now, finally, the commission has been dissolved. Well, let's start by examining some of the things that um, led to his suspension. Well, I will firstly start with this. Uh that uh, power corrupt and absolute power corrupt, absolutely, and that is the major uh, abinga and the major crisis that led to where Mr. Obono Hobla finds himself today, uh, is more or less a self-inflicted uh, uh, failure on his own part, and uh, majorly uh, have been issue because they made the mess of that uh, office itself because that office have not even achieved anything when you talk about the recovery of uh, property and in in a in within the legal uh, my own legal opinion is that uh, the the committee itself uh, is an ultraviolet of the judiciary because how do you recover a property is, do you have have you gone to court is there any measure of procedure of you recovering property or the committee contradicts section six because it is an ultraviolet of the constitution whereby one man would just determine a property and how do you identify do you recover what parameters and that's why the man was just junketing from one point to the other picking on issues that were even not within the confines of such is of his own appointment, and um, and his character also contributed uh, more to his fall. Because believe you me, Obno is more or less like um, a rab rouser, always talking and making issues out of none, and the committee ought not to be. What the government ought to do is to have a commission, whereby. There will, there will be a, an assessment of government's property. How do you identify government? Is this the one pre-independence or the one stolen or the one that is being acquired from government in a shoddy manner through privatization? How do you begin to recover this property? And if you're not recovering this property, for what purpose are we are, are, are marking all these properties for? You look at, uh, in the recent time, they, there was a, there are some recovered uh, property from the former chief of... Uh, 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 I mean, uh, never uh, staff that died, and those properties were given to different agencies of government. I, to me, it ought not to be that way. If the government is nationalizing recovered property under corruption, uh, in fact, there must be procedure. There must be a court order. The, the, the matter ought to have been placed before the court. Not the court is, a, is, is more or less a creation of political um, um, interest to satisfy or just give an appointment to one head or the other, to create an office. And, and that's one of the, the, the issues that we have been faced with. There are a lot of special advisors' offices that are not even in tandem with, with issues at hand or does not even have any practical connectivity with governance. So what we are looking at is that this position, yes, the government might, might have good intention. Yes, there are need for government properties to be recovery of government property. But what are the procedure? Then the act of the National Assembly in relation to this committee. Was this committee passed by the National Assembly? Or was this just a creation from the offshoot of the presidency? 
And that's where we, we are now, we, we, fall, we begin to blame Mr. President for this now. The disbanding of the committee, yes, yeah, is long overdue because the, yes, the, the, uh, Mr. Bono is facing corruption charges. It's not within our political culture to relieve people when they are facing charges. So it's not within our, so we are just seeing a new breed of, maybe this should be a precedence that if anyone is undergoing a corruption um, case like Mr. Obno, is more of a reckless with, in the management of his power. He went to Travers, he went out of his way to, to commit a lot of other atrocities outside the scope of his office. Then the other issues that are now um, around that are already uh, predating uh, on his, on him, mm -hmm. his job, uh, his certificate, mm -hmm. and other things that were, there was no better clarity. So it shows a lot of issues. So the the best the presidency was able to do is just to clear the urgent table. So and I believe if that is done, what Mr. President ought to do is there must be a proper commission that the National Assembly must be able to sanction, and that commission will have a more, um, an, a, a more wider perspective of government recovered properties. And yep. that would definitely, if that is also done at the federal level, we need it at the state level, even at the local government. So okay. that all this recovered property should have a purpose for the common man, for towards the, whatever that is recovered, should be, be driven back towards the, the economy, towards the government, and uh, for the overall interests of the state.